Hello, it's Jeremy here from Streets to Life Yarra. In this video, I'm looking at what council is doing to stop footpaths from being blocked by e-scooters. E-scooters are blocking narrow footpaths, access ramps, and even wide footpaths. So I rented an e-scooter to look at what instructions are being given to riders. In most cases, it looks like e-scooters can be left anywhere, even if the app gently asks you not to park on the footpath. The app does ask you to take a photo showing where you've parked the e-scooter, but it doesn't seem to stop you from parking on the footpath. At other locations, for example up around Gertrude Street, when you start a ride, the app tells you to park at the pins. When you finish the ride, the app gives you a map with parking locations shown. You still need to take a photo of the parked e-scooter, although it doesn't look like it's actually compulsory to park at the designated pins. Here are some close-ups showing the instruction and the parking locations on the map. Near Gertrude Street, the parking locations appear to be bike hoops. It's a step forward, but what we'd really like to see are designated on-street parking corals for e-scooters, such as this example from overseas. Yarra has 47,000 on-street car parking base. It's reasonable for 1,000 of these to be reallocated as corals for e-scooters. Even better would be to look to what happens in the Netherlands, where rental e-scooters are not common, and instead the state government provides rental bikes at each train station. These provide a safe, convenient option, and don't block footpaths. Do you like our advocacy work? Feel free to subscribe, tap the like button, or donate using the buy me a coffee feature on our website. Till next time, travel safe.